So today is a little bit different than normal. Normally I would just talk about an exotic that isn't performing as well as it should and rework it. But today, we're going to talk about an exotic that is mostly fine at least, but it doesn't have a catalyst and that's what we're going to do here today is make a catalyst for it. I believe that a catalyst should, you know, flow with the identity of an exotic and expand upon it. So, starting here with Malfeasance, we need to identify what it's about. Lore-wise, Drifter made Malfeasance so that you could fight Shin Malfur, but not by yourself with a group of people because multiple shots explode whether they come from you or not. So five shots from Malfeasance in an enemy make all the slugs explode. That's how it works. It's better in big groups, kind of like how Outbreak Perfected is, but it's more built for that style of play. Now, we need to take that idea and a little, I'm going to take a little bit from maybe a glitch or bug, I'm not quite sure, but in case you didn't know, Wither Horde increases the damage Malfeasance does because Malfeasance does bonus damage to Taken and Invaders, and for some reason when an enemy is direct hit with Wither Horde, it gets 25% damage buff of that perk, or 50% if they're already a Taken enemy. Don't know why it's like that, but we're going to take that as part of this too. So my idea for this is whenever the slugs explode, or whenever you proc a slug explosion with Malfeasance, you get a round back. So if you're the only one using Malfeasance, after 20 shots, if you hit all of them, you get 4 back. If there's two people using Malfeasance, you'll get like eight back and it just keeps stacking like that to the point where once you have like five people, you do have infinite ammo being that every shot, if someone, if everyone shoots at the same time, is refunded. But also, I'm going to add this on. Whenever a slug explosion occurs, there is a short, probably two or three second window where Malfeasance does the Wither Horde taken damage buff effect on it so like if the enemy isn't taken it'll take 25 percent extra damage from malfeasance if they are taken they'll take 50 percent extra damage for that short duration uh i think you would have to nerf lucky pants with malfeasance that combo just a little bit so that this is you know balanced but other than that i think this is a catalyst that takes malfeasance's identity of team play and everyone using it, similar to Rat King, and just making it to where you can use it more effectively and more of that one shot won't kill Shin Malfur, but many will uh, take that idea and expand upon it. Anyways, that's my idea for a Malfeasance Catalyst. This isn't how I would rework Malfeasance by any means. This is just what I would add to it in addition to what it already has as a catalyst where it also makes orbs. There are some ways I'd rework it, and if I ever do a rework video over Malfeasance, I would go over that specifically. But anyways, that's about it for this video. I'll see you next time, but before I let you go, I just want to say a few things. I do have a Twitter that I would love for you to go follow. I have a Discord server. I have a Twitch, but I have moved over to streaming on YouTube. That should be every Monday and Tuesday sometime in the early afternoon, Central United States time. So, uh, yeah, if you'd love to join, I would love to have you there. And that's about it for this video. I just want to say thank you for watching and see you next time.